hello friends this is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to learn uh, how to retrieve contents of the file from the database in previous video tutorial we have learned uh, how to store a text file and its content into a database now uh, we will try to uh, say, uh, same file from uh, we will try to download same file from the database so here let me show you uh, i have a jdbc db which is having a, a stored text file underscore table which is which is having a three records right now which uh, we have saved in our earlier project right so now these three files here you can see file id file name these, these all are the text files and here i have a si uh, file size in kb and file extension and finally we have a file content right so these files we have to read from the database and we need to download we need to write write it somewhere in the disk so i have a uh, download files folder i want to uh, uh, read these files from the database and just i want to write in this folder with uh, whatever file name is there from that name i want to write in this folder right so let's start so here i have kept this dv script in dv.sql so that uh, once you download this project that you can run and you can create this table on uh, in your database now i have a utility class it's called dvutil and here i have a static method it's called get connection which returns you the connection object and you have a static block and they are I'm creating this connection right so when you call this method then first of all a static block will be executed and connection will be created and same is going to be done by this method right so let's start with this client program now i have a client program and here i have written a sql query select a star from uh, a stored text file from table so i want to select all records uh, from this table okay and uh, I, I'm using make use I'm making use of the prepare statement so uh, I have used try with resources so these are the interfaces like connection uh, prepare statement and uh, result set In, uh, basically these are the interfaces which extends uh, auto closable interface so that's why we can use these interfaces in try with resources so from Java 8 onwards these interfaces especially if you look into the result set uh, this also implements a auto closable and previously i have shown you uh, prepare statement as well as connection interface also extend uh, auto closable so these are the resources you can use as a try with resources so it, you don't need to close these resources in the finally block if you use try with resources that now i have given a one sop saying that following uh, following files are downloaded from the database this will print uh, this will print on the console now I have a result set right so just I would like to iterate this result set to get the all records from the database now I am retrieving the file ID so we have a different columns like file ID file name file size in KB file extension as well as file content so just I am providing the so file id is an integer data type so result set dot get int i am specifying the column name so this will give me the file id similarly we are retrieving the file name so file underscore name is the column name and this is type of uh, work app so corresponding equivalent data type in java is uh, a string so just i am retrieving file name as well retrieving file size in kb that is type of long now again retrieving file extension which is type of care and equivalent java type is a string uh, and uh, these are the things i'm just printing on the console and finally i'm trying to one of the column we have a uh, something it's called long text and equivalent uh, data type in uh, java we have a class is called glob glob means uh, character large object so that's the full form if you want to load uh, some character ori oriented uh, large text from the database then basically we use clock right so 
uh, we have a greater method in result set there you will have to pass the column which uh, contains the uh, character large object so this is the column which contains character large object so just we are retrieving this club and club has a method is called get ascii stream which returns as the input stream object and here files uh, class which is the part of the jdk itself uh, has a method is called copy and which accepts input stream which i am passing over here and this also accepts a path right object of path so paths dot get and here i have given the name of the folder where i want to download uh, files from the database right so files uh, download files slash i have given the file name from which i want to download in this folder right so file name uh, this uh, this i am getting from the database itself right so instead of this directly you can give file name like this right now i am going to run this program and there is nothing like a finally block because i have used try with resources so you don't need to write a finally block so let's run this program and look at the console saying that following files are downloaded from the database and these are the file information right three files i have downloaded and uh, if i refresh this project let's refresh then see uh, three files have been downloaded and these are the names of the file and from same name i have downloaded and with same extension if i open it uh, open and system editor you can see this is the content of first file that is c language.txt now c++ language.txt you can see the content of this file as well it's a huge content right uh, but uh, uh, even a uh, data type of column we have given the long uh, text so if your text file contains huge amount of data like 100 pages or something like that still you can store right in this column because data type of this is uh, long text right so you can store long long uh, character stream uh, you can uh, store in this column right so i hope you understood this uh, project and uh, this code i am going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you have any query or any questions regarding this code then please do post below to the video uh, i will try to answer those queries and if you really like this video then please hit on the subscribe button and thanks for watching this video